You can also add individuals as editors and viewers to your doc. This is a really great feature. So click on Share, and you'll note that I have anyone in my organization can view. So let's say I want everyone in the organization to be able to view the budget tracker for January to see what the expenses are, but only a few people can actually edit the doc and make changes to the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and add those people in the Add People section. So I want to add by email address or if you start typing in the name many times it will autocomplete. Once you add your peeps, you can change the share settings to edit or view. I'm going to leave mine as edit. And you can notify people via email, which is always best practice. So leave this box checked and click on add a message and add a personal message. It's not required to share a doc with individuals to send the email, but it's best practice. And in the next video, we'll show you that when sharing with groups, you must send the email notification. So I'm going to add a message, please, please add the data from your team. I'm going to select send a copy to myself, which is also not required, but I'll do this to demonstrate what the recipients receive in their mailbox. I click on share and save, and you can see the document is shared with the appropriate access with those people that I've shared it with. I can remove access by clicking on the X, or I can change access to now to owner. I can make another person owner, or just simply a viewer. Keeping that in mind, I'm going to click on Done and go to my mailbox where, hopefully, I've received that email. So you can see I've received an email that says, please add the data from your team with a link to the document. In the next tutorial, we'll show you about sharing with groups.